Lisa, are you sure you're ready? Yes, I know I am. Because I don't want to do anything that you don't want to do. I know what I want to do. Um, Lisa, why, why did you decide all of a sudden that you were ready for sex? Because this isn't real. I broke up with you before you moved to California so I could date high school guys. What? It's a dream, duh. My boobs aren't this big and your thing isn't... I, uh... Whatever. I dumped you anyway. Oh my god, you're right. You did. Not only did I dump you, but... Stanford has touch-tone telephone registration. But I slept through my phone appointment. It seems I've also slept through in-person registration, and I missed mail-in registration, so now I gotta get there early for late registration. Rob, just give your brother a ride, okay? It's not easy for him. You start a new school today, and you probably heard that Lisa broke up with him right before we moved out here. Jesus, I'm circulating a memo. I was talking to Dad, and he was saying that, uh, you know, you and Lisa, she dumped me. Okay, I am the proud of dumpy. Listen to me, man. Breaking up with Lisa is perfect. Now you're free to go look for another girl. More girl, if you're so inclined. I don't want to look for another girl. I have sworn off girls indefinitely. What? This is a school? Welcome to Northern California. All right, come on, move it. You're 20 minutes late for school. And uh, I got to get to the dorm and set about my flagrant disregard for university and dorm policies as soon as possible. You get home by yourself, all right? Hey. You're going to do fine. Go. Okay. Driving. Looking for your parents' house Striving To find peace Miss Mills, you're on, now And I saw A punk rock show In a car garage And I you as a child Isn't it wild And I saw A punk rock show In a car garage And I saw You A dream come true A dream come true A dream come true Very nice. Thank you, Miranda Mills, for a moving performance of a uh, song by... Um, that Dog. That Dog. That Dog. <laughs> Stella, if you're ready. <laughs> All right, ladies. I mean, people. <laughs> As you can see, there are going to be a lot of changes around here this year, and I am so excited about it. It looks like our salad bar now carries produce from only organic local farmers. And Mr. Oslo is hard at work verifying the school's Y2K compliance. Last but not least, as we all know, the biggest change comes from our new incoming sophomores. As junior class president, I would just like to say, welcome to Evergreen's first male students, the pioneers. If you all join me in the school song.
This is outrageous. I mean, this is totally outrageous. How can they not tell us that this is the first year they accepted the boys? I mean, I think that we have a right to know this stuff before we get here. <laughs> Dude, we <laughs> did know. What? Yeah, of course we knew. Everyone knew. Here, check this out. Evergreen has been in all-girls school for 104 years. It's only been co-ed for, like, half an hour. You're right. My grandmother, my mom, all my sisters, all went here when it was all-girls. You're like an Evergreen legacy. How do you think I got in? I mean, my middle school grades weren't exactly... Good? Well, definitely not good. I was gonna say passing. Ooh. Hey, I'm sure they mentioned all this when you were applying. Yeah, well, my dad kind of took care of the applying for me. <laughs> oh, so dad knew and didn't let on, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. There, there is no way that my dad knew how few guys there are here. How few guys are there here? <laughs> we're it. Well, only sophomore admission was open to guys, and it looks like we're the only three men enough to take the challenge. <laughs> hey, Carrie. Next time you talk to your sister, tell her that we really miss her on the team. Uh, actually, uh, Monica, she gave me a message for you. Uh, she said if you were, like, you know, missing her or anything like that, you should probably just, you know, have sex with me. <laughs> or, you know, make out, whatever, you know, and that would probably make you feel better. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll think that over. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 Okay, so I'm kind of new at this whole girls' school thing. It's like three highs tradition. Actually, it's four if the person seems cool. Oh. Hi. So, Jay, between you and me, being around all these girls all the time is fine, but that's not why I'm here. Did you know that 85% of the students here are accepted to the Ivies? 85%? Those are tremendous odds. Plus, being one of the only guys, can you imagine the college essay I'll get out of this? I mean, this is cake. All right, everybody, settle down. This is AP US history. All right, let's take a super quick trot through the class. 1490 to 1776, midterm. 1777 to present, final. Now, the... Is the final comprehensive, or does it only cover the second half of the class? <sighs> the final is comprehensive, yes. Now, however, the AP... Yes, sir. Sorry. Um, is the final exam grade weighted according to the amount of material that was also covered on the midterm? The final is 75% of your grade. The midterm is then 25% of your grade. Okay. The AP test is given after the final, which means it's optional. It has no I don't think I'll be taking class. that. Only. And it's up to you whether you want to take it. Excuse me. It's been my experience that it's better to at least try than just to assume failure. Now, perhaps my comrade and I could tutor you. I'm sure that even a student of your caliber could fare well on a test with some decent guidance. I'm Phil. This is Jed. Even if I were you, West Lawn is juniors only. Sophomores can try and score a table, but it's usually just the steps. Miranda Mills, junior. What? The girl you're staring at. You know, the girl you want to, you know, know. have an indecorous naughty romp with. <laughs> what? what? I do not want to romp indecorously with anyone. I mean, since my ex-girlfriend Lisa and I, we mutually broke up, you know. She I, dumped you? We broke up. But to make things easier, I've decided to swear off girls. <laughs> you definitely picked the right place for that. Man, how could you not love this? When I was little, I used to come here all the time to drop off my older sisters, and I would dream about what went on behind these walls, you know? I mean, all the girls, all the legs. We were like six. Who are you? <laughs> Point is, it's like that store, Loman's. You know, all they have is just one big dressing room for all the women. Well, that's what they have. It's just one big dressing room where all the women go to try and close. And when I was little, my mom used to take me there all the time. Like, I would go into the dressing room with her, and oh, my gee, guys, I loved it. I mean, all these naked women just walk around. It's, it's skinny <laughs> ones, and pretty ones, and fat ones. Oh. Ew. But now, 
The three of us guys? I mean, it's like they're letting us back in. Into the dressing room. Jed, my man, you gotta forget about Lisa. Look around. Isn't it worth it? <laughs>